Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to share you uh, on just exploration of mine. You know, I tried to map uh, Indonesian only tropical glacier, tropical glacier in Puncak Jaya, or oh, the highest mount, the highest mountain in Indonesia. I mean, if you see here in the the website, you know, looking for this glacier, it's called Kartens Glacier uh, in Puncak Jaya. You know. Mount Kartas or Kartas Pyramids is the highest mountain range in Indonesia. Uh, you know, this is the only where Indonesian uh, tropical glacier exists. The only one here. Okay, so I'm trying to map that. You know, I'm using Landsat imagery. So I'll try to map it from 1990 to uh, up to 2024 to see the change over time. And we can actually hear the result, but I will explain to you later. So using Landsat uh, from Landsat 4 up to Landsat uh, 8 and 9, you know, I try to use all the Landsat. So if you use before 2013, you use Landsat 4, 4, 5, and 7. But if after 2013, I'm going to use the Landsat 8 and 9. So there is two indexes important to help us is NDSI and NDMI. NDSI is the Thomas Difference Snow Level Index. It's uh, uh, useful to map, uh, you know, snow. And moisture index, uh, this to know how moisture the area is. And we're gonna use a combination of them as a conditional uh, to get the uh, the what the glaciers. Okay, so I decide the region of interest. You know, I already map it. It was here. This is about this area, so we didn't have to map the whole Papua. It's so big. Then I change to satellite to have you view the, the area. You know, you can see that it's very cold. Even you can see the glacier still there. You know, the wet stuff. This class here, because this is the newest image. Then uh, just prepare some data, you know, for visualization, palette to visual data basically in the years. Then what I did is that I I filter the you know the image from Landsat, you know. So per year I do it. Then I do code masking. Then I make the image. So I make image for each year. For example, this 1990. 1990. Oh yeah, I'm using visualization of a uh, near. Uh, near a uh, sphere one near and blue or we call it agriculture composite probably I don't know uh, so in this image you can see that if it's vegetation it's going to be color bright green is it uh, bare line is going to be color a pink or even orange but if it's water it's going to be blue but it's a glacier it's going to color like this really bright uh, light blue you know as or azure I don't know I don't want the correct colors I mean, even that we can easy we can easily identify glacier basically with our own eyes, you know. So we can, if we want to check it, well, you can use your own eyes. So in this is important, you know, basically just to mask it automatically. But still, you want to see the, re the result, you have to check it like with your own eyes, you know. <laughs> and with this composite, uh, with near swear uh, swear one near and green, uh, you can easily visualize this uh, result. So what I did is that I create indices, you know, NDSI and NDMI, then I do make a conditional. So if it's NDMI is above 0 0.7 and NDSI is 0 0.7. Oh yeah, I forgot I also use them, which oh, which is uh, elevation. So make sure it's above 400 because it's only for above 100 that the glacier in tropical can exist. So, and this is the result. Uh, for instance, show you the result for 1990. It's cover most, almost everything. It's quite close. <laughs> And let's check for uh, for the the new which is 2024. Oh, it's much smaller now, right? Okay. Almost gone. <laughs> so yeah. So it is the glass here. You can see the blue one, right? <laughs> yeah. That happened. Uh, if you see that in regression, it was much more much more bigger, right? It cover much bigger area. Okay. From that, I got for the area using reduced regions, then. Then I return it into a calculation, which first we can map uh, the change, you know. So using max reduce regions, reduce uh, reducer, we can map the loss year per year. So this legend you can see in the left, last year loss year. So if it's in 99, loss in 1990 is gonna color like yellow. It's, if it's newly gone, it's gonna color like uh, like red, you know, to some purpose. And this is the current one, 24. So small, you know, compared to previously, like really small. <laughs> so from these colors to only this blue one. Okay, so what's the statistic here? Okay, if I calculate from the 
construction, I can get that. In 1990, there's about 195 hectares of glaciers, but now it's only 7 hectares. So that's like 96% loss. <laughs> like so big. Which is, uh, you know, 188 hectare gone, which is so bad. So what if, well, what happened per year? Well, per year, they gone, go about like 7 hectares. It was bro. Was it's about 12.05% uh, per year. This bad. I mean, if she could the graph, the graph that I made, uh, it's really showed, you know, like super bad. <laughs> like the graph would just go, go back down in 2000s and just keep going downhill from then on. Yeah, that's really bad. So, yeah, yeah, I start to, to map this. So, yeah, that's the result. You can see that donation only a glacier is getting, getting gone. Climate change is real, people. Uh, and this, what I do is I just show you what you know, the reality is, you know, the actual results that you can see with your own eyes. But I'm not sensing and our engine. Okay, that's it, guys. Uh, have fun. Maybe you can use this too. Uh, I will share it to the YouTube and LinkedIn so you can use the script, do whatever you want. Okay, see you. Bye bye.